Yeah, and we got some uh, we got some shredders headed up to the stand as well. We're gonna be seeing Toast versus Sketch for our first match. This is gonna be Sarugi versus Hyde. So definitely some uh, some pretty strong, relatively straightforward characters, right? But Sarugi definitely with a guard point, a character to watch out for. Very straightforward, but uh, if you don't have a game plan against the armor, it's gonna be rough. Both of these characters very can be played very aggressively or a little bit slower. Sarugi, I'd say, you know, can really force his way in with that force function. Has a lot of advancing special moves. But I mean, Toast showing some of their own there, the 6-6C, that dashing potential cross up there from Hyde. Ooh, there we go, gets caught up the dash attack. Yeah, Sketch is looking real good on the grid, but after getting, you know, caught up with some straight hits, stuck in the corner here, barely any health to your name. Wonder if we're gonna see Toast try and cash out here just to close it out quick. Still have one more guess and a big DP there, respecting the wake up CS, doesn't want to deal with the DP there. Yeah, tried to assault on through, maybe trying to get over a low poke, but instead the projectile meets you in the middle. And that's the first round to Toast. And I feel like that's something I find myself doing a lot in UD2 as well, as it's like, well, I got 200 meter at round start, might as well try and skip the neutral. JC, what is going on? There we go. So off of the FF follow-up, right? The uh, the down follow-up, you have the surfboard, and they are special cancelable as well. So sometimes you're looking for your opportunity to strike back on the minus frames, and then you get frame trap. No, I imagine you were looking for the 236C, but gets caught right out of the super flash, and you lose the meter for it. Startup not fast enough, and Toast keeping this chain shift now, spending it right away. And what is going on here? Setting up what's going to be the mix-up on this landing. Evil Air Ruckus CS into the low, stuck in the corner here. It should be one touch, especially with IW minimum damage being as high as it is. You have grid, but what are you going to use it to get out with? Oh my god, the big throw with. I especially like... Oh, big veil off here. Let's see what we've got here from Sarugi. Oh, in and out that high back dash. So good with the grid break. Yeah, it's skill damage off the throw combo here, but you're so low, but opted to just go for one more hit. Toast takes the first game. Yeah, showing that that hide movement, great acceleration on the forward dash, and that back dash just flies. Yeah. I mean, I think uh, Deppy was talking about it recently, right? You know, definitely one of the masters of this character. And Hyde, Hyde got that shimmy twerk on you backdash. You know what I'm saying? You run up, you backdash, and you still have time to run in and do some strike throw afterwards on their wake up. But instead, sketched off him to wake up into this next game with some aggression here, already taking so much health out of Toast. Yeah, with the Vorpal advantage here, Sketched in great positioning. That throw gonna get even more grid blocks for Sketch to use, but... <laughs> Fight for the sword, bring us over to the corner, cash out for all the corner carry in the world, back up against the wall. Toast is healthy on the grid. Oh, didn't believe in the hit, so you were frame trap there. Smash! Up in the FF there, but Toast still very advantage here. Both players one hit away here. All the bar and the chain shift on the side of Sketch, and this should be it. Oh my god, I forgot you could go into surfboard off of the down, uh, I wanted to call it the down B. I want to say it's a JQC coming out from Surubi as well, but there we go. 236C gets you plus frames right up in your face, so you go for throw. Gets caught out of the 236. Oh no. A little rebuy attempt there, trying to get the plus frames off that air special, but again, this backdash from Hyde in and out. Escaping there, and Toast now at a big advantage here, corner positioning secured. Yeah, I like the stackers from Toast here, trying to catch on some of the jumps from Sketch, but instead, just smash on through with the shield bash, still gets caught out mid-screen. 6 whips, it's all good though. Oh, defeating the force function there, the armor does not matter with all the hits of Orbidar. Oh no, but you just barely didn't build up the 100 to kill, but it's all good, we have a throw to tie it up, and now it's set point for Toast. Yeah. This throw is a lot more scary, you know. We don't have the same OS's that we did back in CLR, so no. able to force that strike throw mix a lot better. This high champion looking pretty good right now. Yeah, Sigby also getting a little bit less minus on block here, so you're, we're seeing Toast use it uh, a lot here as a spacing normally keep you locked down in the corner. But again, the J2C is the surfboard. Oh, I got you out of the corner, but again, off of the scramble, not able to get the Oki you're looking for. Tony Hawk not able to do enough, but sketched again, tons of meter available, but no Vorpal advantage on the side of Toast. Look at this positioning, one hit away, what is the answer here for Sketch? Ooh. 
Oh no! No, you saw the patience, you saw the down back, said, all right, he's terrified. He does not believe that he has any way to get out of this corner, so let me charge the overhead right in his face. No response in time, and Sketched gets sent down to the loser's side. Please. God, please. I'm good. Ozzy just, like, twerking on me from full screen. Chaos is, like, reading a book. He's, he's having a nice picnic day in the park here, but there's no niceness. No formalities. We're heading right into the next match. Waldstein versus Eltonum. Smiles versus DMC Axel. All right. Gonna be, you know, kind of tough here once we get that install Plus with the gun. Get those purple bullets loaded up. Plus Eltonum's gonna be able to dish out a ton of plus frames. Kind of just stay right outside of that throw range. Poke and then get the plus frames afterwards. Really gonna put a lot of pressure on Walt, especially like you said with that 8 frame mash. But smiles off to the races here. Let's see what we got. But we were talking all that smack, just saying, yeah, Axel's gonna have a great time playing the keep away. But Smiles, I think they round started with the assault. So immediately from the first second of the game, they were already in Axel's face. Yes, they're losing a little bit of pressure now, but Axel has already lost so much HP. Any reversal 360C should be able to put the round on the board. And even with that combo, Smiles still able to win the cycle here and just going in. Dude, body splash CS, right? You're just pulling up in the top rope. Like, what are you supposed to do? I feel like it's it's harder to anti-air than one might think. You're like, oh, simply look for the anti-air, but dude, he's, he's approaching your location rapidly. Now Axel, meeting the aggression where it's at here and starting off strong for the round start. Woohoo, using that throw in vol 6C there, off the ground, able to beat that Waldstein command grab. With the cycle now, plenty of purple bullets. This is gonna be great offense here. Oh my! Yeah, takes this guy to the command grab as well. Hanging out in the uh, in the air there. Smiles is like, oh, I'll wait. For a little bit too patient for your own good here. 200 meter for Axel. I wonder if we cash out on the IW or if we're so far ahead that we might as well just try and save it for the next round. Yeah, leveraging the life lead and a magic pixel there for Smiles is not going to amount to much as we get the perfect here for DMC. Exactly. And I think that decision is not to be taken for granted, right? Because, of course, Smiles on the Waldstein, right? Once you're able to get that reversal in momentum, Waldstein can really run away with it. But Axel, confident, hedging their bets for round number three here and coming up strong. Yeah, counter hit, purple bullet pistol shot is going to be an excellent starter here. The corner positioning is set. It doesn't go for the restand, going for just the normal end. All right, Veil off brings us back to the mid-screen. Smiles has all the meter in the world, but not a lot of health to rock with. So Axel getting a little greedy for the cycle, and Smiles catches you out with a claw. Yeah, not able to do kind of the standard maneuver of concentrate and then cancel it into shield when you think they're going to bash. Going for the overhead there regardless, so... Yeah, went up for the charge fade there. Baits out the VO from Axel. Caught you panicking, and now it's game one to Smiles. The last round was quite the comeback. Pretty, pretty bold, meaty um, overhead there in, you know, Veil off. You know, that's a single button, invincible infinite worth like uh -huh. there's a lot of dangerous stuff Eldam, of course with a dp you know but that's kind of you got to put all your cards on the table as waldstein you got to play with your heart you got to be like you know maybe this will kill me but this is the decision i'm sticking to meaty overhead block this yeah smiles whether they're whether they're at 100 hp or 1 hp they're playing like they got uh nothing left to lose right and now they have one game in the tank just needs one more to move on to the next round but axel trying to tie it up here and brings us all the way to the corner gotta have that mo uh, that mental fortitude in a first to two against a grappler especially now that smiles is around or er, a game up they could just you know they could do whatever they want to yeah, like they can afford to be a little crazy, like the empty jump SPD with a double circle for a little extra damage and Oki on top, too. Oh, Clap actually whiffing there, so not able to get the plus frames or the shield. Was that a walkout on the wake up from Axel just going right on over, right on under the jump? There we go. EXDP keeps you locked down for just a little bit longer. And what a stare down there. No one pressing anything. And then we just swing with it. The EXDP. Ooh. There we go. And the air stall as well. Smiles trying to swipe at the ground, but instead gets caught out of the down back with the command grab. Oh, ho, ho. Austin threw with the projectile. You know, a, a nice 600 damage, but the screen space is what really matters for Wall. Yep. 
go. Shoot this man. Bring him to the corner once again. Deja vu of the last round. But CS trying to see if Axel is swinging anything that we can go for a 360C. Yeah, Gopal getting a big rip break here. Guaranteeing the cycle now for DMC. Yeah, getting grabbed out of the pressure. Brought back to the mid screen here, but barely any Oki, right? So instead just going for the 2-2 series. That new Waldstein move. Snagging with the 5 A. Ooh. Is she opportunity here? Yeah, that is a big drop coming out from Axel there. You had enough meter to be able to seal it out. You would have won the round as well. And now Smiles should be able to bring it back. I wonder if we spend the meter for it. Yep, let the IW rock, or the IWEX rather, to tie it up and put yourself on set point. Yeah, great, you know, decision-making there from Smiles. You know, your opponent does not want to go out to meaty command grab. So you hit them with that meaty anti-air, find the jump, them avoiding that command grab. And here we go, we are getting started now on the side of Smiles. Yeah, Smiles felt the fear again, going for the empty assault into double SBD. Now it's a lot of meter to your name, no tech on the command grab. Excellent spacing there, the maximum claw range and cleaning it up there, Smiles. A very quick final round. Not only that, in a yeah. round where it looked, or in a game where it looked like DMC Axel was just on top the whole time. Up until that final round, it seemed to be all going Axel's way. Yeah. You know, mess with the scaling to the amount that it has. So, Atatsuki, you know, most available there. 6C sets up for it very easily. So we might see Salty try and flex that a little bit. I'd hope to see it. Yeah, that's like that specific Uni 2 tech, right? Resetting the formation off of the Smart Steer Ender, but, you know, we, we will see. Heading into game number one here. They're already playing pretty defensive. I think one of the big things that we hear from Kaguya players is like, yeah, her round start, not the strongest in the game. She doesn't have a lot of, uh, you know, options that are really good about locking your opponent down, right? So you'll see a lot of down backs, you'll see a lot of takes with the skies, and Lid trying to just get a read on the offensive patterns for himself. Oh, Celestial gained for Salty there. That was a very close end there on the grid tug of war. Yeah. Yeah, that hurts for Lid, right? Because you're down a lot of meter. Now you're finally getting hit as well. Just getting blocked to the corner. Once again, maybe trying to go for a, uh, a 4B AD. Still gets caught out. Just spaced right out of range. I W built for Salty. Oh, did not believe it would kill. I believe Salty was correct there. But, you know, now it's time for the Lid comeback. Damn, you rolled on through and you still had enough time to block the DP. I don't know if that ender was exactly what you were looking for there. You didn't set up into the grenade Oki, but still recognizing that the combo dropped and able to keep the pressure on. Finds another hit here for Lin. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Lin trying to punk him out. Just the deep run in your face, but salty boy on top of it. Just hit you with the back throw. Yeah, this is Salty Goku himself. I think we saw the C grenade come out from Lid, but I think what we were looking for was the uh, the EX laser, right? I guess got crossed up on the inputs there. Just didn't, uh, I think you hadn't landed yet, so you weren't able to get the grenades out. That is unfortunate, but still able to find the hit here and tie up the HP. Get the quarter swap as well, but a whiff throw will allow Salty Boy to throw into the quarter, but here comes the DP. Yep. There we go. Salty, 150 meters to his name. Clean on the grid, whips the shield. Bro, we're so back and forth. The JBB puts Lit back into the corner, and Salty finds the hit off of it. That's a heartbreaker. All right, one mix away here. Lit mashing on the defense, blowing up Salty Boy here. Yeah, I thought we were going to see the side swap right there, but instead we're just opting for corner carry all the way across the screen. Going to the EXs, I... I wonder if... Well, I mean, that was an air pickup off the CBO, right? So maybe the just try CBO to stabilize scaling the scaling is going to be tough, but let's yeah. see. I think you live here with a decent amount of health still left, but, you know, definitely worse for where one projectile could do it. And Ash C is the one. <laughs> Man. Lit like, all right, I got this. Boom. It's a rail gun. Only my railgun, but still getting caught up in the corner here. Salty said, all right, you had your round. I had enough time to build up the meter. I'm looking like a battery right now. We got the A, B, Ender for the Oki. But yeah, you don't really have to wait out for any of these safe jumps in Anakin. Akagia doesn't have a reversal unless she has the 100 meter, but still finds the mash out for Lid. 
crazy lid. Keeping it going, able to beat that with the 2A. Ooh. Counter hit. I wonder what we caught out with the dash 2A. Yep, just go straight to the... I thought that dropped. I swear I saw the after image of Akatsuki. <laughs> and I also thought it was going to kill too. Wrong on both sides. Lid got one more opportunity to bring it back here. Rekka's into the plus frames. Excellent mash there on, uh, you know, the Tatsu A. Ooh. TS and you threw out the 5A, you were like, nah, get out of my face, Salty. I'm fighting back. Salty well positioned here. No in the corner, but plenty of meter to spend. Double <laughs> overhead off the TK assault. That's evil, bro. J A J C and you're obstructed with the grenades as well. One more hit. Oh my god, don't drop! Yo, yo, hit up hit up my boy, Lid. <laughs> we, I'll make a lid on YouTube. We, we better the see the video tomorrow. OD Kagya setups in five points. minutes, please. Please, Dude. what was that? And brought it back there. Yeah, the visual obstruction. And I think, you know, like we were saying, going into this set, right? I feel like matchup experience is going to be a big thing. There aren't a lot of people playing Kaguya right right now. Lid is, yeah. is one of the big representatives. And I think especially off the double overhead setup, you have so much noise with the grenades keeping you locked down in the corner. So all these like, all right, let me try my best to defend, get some data and head into game number two, because I can't be, you know, losing these close rounds every single time, every single game. Let me try and learn from this one and then bring the next two games back. Whoa, whoa. Bad round start, please. I'll just whiff punish you. Lid off to the races here on this round start. There we go. Confident on that last round said, all right, I'm kind of nice with it. I know Salty's kind of godlike, but I can hold my own as well. Speaking of, holding your own with the down back, trying not to get baited out by all this stagger pressure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Spot that through. Danger, danger here. And again, we saw it. You know, Salty way ahead on the grid right now. Not quite Celestial. And will lose a little bit with that smart tier ender. Yeah, you kind of trade at the end of long combos. You're trading Oki uh, on the A plus B ender for a little bit of grid, right? But Salty's so ahead on the cycle right now. Even with losing it, even getting hit, cleanly secures the cycle for the next one. So you have Wake Up CS available. Oh, don't you have 200? But oh my no! The bad <laughs> it doesn't come. Wait, oh, there's no way Lit brings it back because you were greedy on the meter, right? Surely there's no way. Yo, but let me put it in my highlight reel. CBO available. Infinite worth EX. Yep. Didn't even need the CBO. Lid doing the calculate. Wait, it looks so scaled, but I know all the damage is in this final hit. You're the, you gotta believe in the minimum damage. The minimum damage. Let's see it. And there it is. The minimum damage was enough. Dude, there's no health in Lid's side. He was literally <laughs> 1 HP, but chip damage doesn't kill in this game. Still gonna be able to get caught up with the projectile, though. Salty, I don't know, man. You're one round away from getting sent down into losers. No, 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 wait. no, 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 you gotta stop. No, 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 you have to wait. No, no counter poke farming. available. It's a bullet, it's a bullet. It doesn't have a hurt box. That's true. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> wait, you whipped 6-6-B and you still had time to punish. He's farming clips on you, bro. Nah, this is over. Cycle gain for okay. Lid. Yeah, Lid is a cycle now. Salty still has a decent amount of HP to make it back here. I don't know, maybe all this time has just been building up the download. Now that Lid is feeling himself, how can you make advantage of the overconfidence? Yes, we'll see Instant spend there on the CS, just getting the meter here for Salty. Yeah, I think Salty is confident about winning. The next cycle gets the anti-air 5A. But yeah, oh, no, it looked like a bad attack. It's hard. Ooh. Salty has been unbelievably bold on the wake up here. A lot of dash forward 2A. Mm -hmm. Infinite worth available. How much do you choose to spend? The answer is all of it. Guarantee this round. Poke it yeah. back and forth here between Lid and Salty. 5.5k when Lid started that combo out with 3k, but, you know, I understand the choice from Salty, right? You lost the last round because you were too greedy with the meter, and now you're feeling confident, right? You're thinking, okay, I'm fine defending against Lid, getting some meter by winning the cycles consistently, so I might as well spend it to make sure I'm guaranteeing the damage where I get it, and guarantee the Oki as well with the Smart Steer Ender! Oh, huge starter here! That chin buster gonna set up great damage here. 4k and change here for Salty. Ooh, 
The counter hit, it looked like Lid might have been able to block out and win the cycle back, but no, instead ended. Smart Ender into the IW. Salty Goku ties it back up. <laughs> I, I, I needed to see a game three. This was so we close did. here. The, the magic pixel coming yeah. out for Lid, but like you said, Salty, the opportunity here getting the download. Yeah, now he's feeling it, right? He's like, all right, let me spend the meter. I I know that I can get that meter back. I just need to be able to kill Lid. No more YouTube clips. No more Twitch clips. I got to bring my A game here, clearly going into game number three. It'd be tough here. I feel... <laughs> I'd imagine the forward dash is some sort of OS to try and beat the cross-up setup on Wake Up, but I feel like Lin just has to hit that meaty more often. Salty is dashing forward so many times on Wake Up right now. You also gotta respect that Wake Up. Here we go. ADD routes, keeping you locked down in the corner once again. So he has to get a little bit of meter back as well. Should be able to have IW for the next combo, but I think we're just saving it for EX grenades. Ooh, counter hit off the JC. That slow offense for Lid paying off. Salty whiffed so many green shields, lost a ton of grit there, allowing Lid to win the cycle. Now the round. Yeah, and it was like you were calling out earlier, Deadward, right? We're seeing a lot of dash block OS for, uh, from Salty to try and get out of the corner. So instead, what Lid did, set the EX grenades and then go for a rising JA to tap you on the dome, holding that down back. So that was really smart. Old Veil off here. Salty very low position. Yep. Veil off available. Yeah, don't get too greedy trying to use the super at the end there. Just hold down. Hold the 4B and finally able to get a counter hit out of the corner. Mix held, corner swap, but he's salty so bold on these wake-ups still. A paying dividends gonna finish off this round with the infinite worth. And here we go. Final game, final round. This set has been a barn burner, but it all comes down to this. Six beyond block. Second Rekka into the rebeat. We go across on through. Get the micro concentrate. You know, Salty has been so strong about winning the cycle, so any gap that you can get to try and steal it back is enough. Counter hit steals out the cycle for you. Lit at CS available. Like you were saying, that concentrate allowing the extra grip rock. This should be easy peasy for Lit. Can we take it? Oh no. I lied. But we're still good. You dropped ADP on the other side. You waited for the grenades to bring Salty back down to earth. And now you're sending him back down into the loser's bracket with a perfect to seal it out in the final game, final round. Lid moves on 2-1. You know, you gotta cash it out now. You gotta put that experience to work. And yes, this is Defi on the Anki do. Yeah, let's see it. We saw we saw Defi switch briefly over to the Carman and Chan Select. I was like, oh man, all this discussion for nothing. But no, don't worry. We so are cool. seeing so the Enkidu versus so Phonon. Cool. Phonon's in bio as we see Defi versus Lufel, the immediate run up uh, throw. Yeah, Lufel, a feels based player, gonna be feeling a little hurt right now, but we saw that dash forward on round start. Common round start in uni, dash forward block, and Lufel just blowing that up with a throw. But Lu <laughs> Lufel's getting blown up right now. Dude, help me. Stuck up in the corner against Enkidu with Chain Shift. You're terrified to try and challenge. Okay, didn't match on the parry though. Still keeping your turn up with the CS. No meter to your name. <laughs> no, it's fine, guys. I got Vorpal. Yeah, it's fine, guys. I got Geyser. CS into Geyser to try and get some space here. Get sniped right out of the sky. A a am I an ST boomer? It with the new force function, is Enki do actually advantaged in this matchup now? You know, that's honestly a great question. If you have a seven frame gap, like, you're gonna die. That... That advancing guard point was putting in so much work, beating the air fireball, beating any of Lupul's presses, and just being yep. pressure on its own. That was, that was dangerous from Defi.
Exactly. Like you're thinking, oh, okay, if it's, uh, you know, a parry type of thing, maybe I just go for a projectile, right? Take to the skies, and then the guard point just goes right on through. He's still advancing, approaching your location. You're like, wait, wait, wait. What do I do? What do I do when Deppy spends the super and because of warp refund, still is 100 meter behind him? Can, can you believe? Forward, forward function. I'm minus. Neutral, force function. I got a parry. What? What's going on, bro? Yeah, but we are seeing a lot of the, you know, grid bleed that comes with using a lot of the 6FF, right? Force function obviously using a little bit of that grid, bleeding it, but still, if you're able to make your opponent bleed faster, Deffy is able to take a quick game one. And we saw that at the end there, Lufa was afraid to press anything. Also, we yeah. saw at the end there, Deffy has six or 92 games on this champion right now. <laughs> how do you find time to play the entirety of the cast like this? That just shows how much work these gamers are pulling up with headed into Uni 2, and we're heading into game number two. This Anki Do still has the new car smell. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Bringing this out in bracket, it ages esports. Yeah. Against my boy Lufo from Tri State. Yeah, fighting for his life right now against uh, a matchup that I imagined in clear he would have felt pretty confident about here, but finally finds the 5 L. Hanky <laughs> Do Bros were winning too hard. It's true. Okay, send the projectile. Nice. I like the catch, but no confirm off the aerial. The jump in goes unanswered, and Deppy finds the hit. Oh, you know, just just 4k off my armored move, and here comes a little bonus. Ain't no way, bro. We saw the CS from Lufal had all the time in the world, but Deppy let in the 6FF rock once again. Catch back out to the corner. Don't do it again. Oh, my, did it again? <laughs> Lufal's got to be thinking the same as well, like, no way! Yeah. Again? No way you do it a fifth time. Alright, that kid gets you some grid. Yeah, clean on the cycle, clean on the run-up throw. Now we're on set point for Debbie. There's not even much to say. This, this new force function is doing too much. I like the RPSing there from Lufal with into the bail off. Ooh, there we go. Finally finds the grid break. What can we make of it, though? Nah, you still got force function and grid break, though. You're gonna lose the cycle, but uh, Lufal is losing a lot more HP for it. Finally finds the CS grab. Cycle will guarantee that that whiff gets punished, and now Lufal at least can play some offense until the Arbor comes to rain on your parade. Oh, you actually tacked yourself back into the corner, too. This is even scarier. You didn't want to lose the grid to make sure that you secure the cycle, but now you got to slowly walk yourself back out of the corner. Oh, my God, that was so scary. I thought the 6FF was going to, you know, reach all the way over. <laughs> Luckily, 4B outside of the Enki do range. Lufal yeah. able to press that without fearing immediate death. Nah, he was definitely still fearing it. I'll tell you what, because I was scared for him as I saw Deffy approaching. It's still set point for Deffy, by the way. Runs up, baits out the throw as well with the run of Assault. Yes, Fantech gonna get B in here. Yep. Now Deffy. The driver sees still cycle available. Ooh. Man, that's a heartbreaker. That's the second time we've gotten a nice jump in from Lufal, but not able to convert all the way back down to the ground. Deffy's just falling a little too fast. This is an A starter, so it will be scaled, but the minimum damage on this EX might be enough. Clean e from Deffy. Yep, EX up kicks is all you need to close it out. Deffy seals it 2-0 to send Lufal down into the loser's side. You got a couple of big boys with some big neutrals coming up next. And I mean, we're going to see the presses and also not to not for nothing, but star underscore is uh -huh. quite the command grabber himself. It's true. Yeah, pull up with the claws here. Keep you locked down in the corner. But we got some big grabs from both of these sides here. Let's see. There ain't no laws when you're throwing with claws. And that goes for both of these characters. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's not quite the White Claw enjoyer, but we got Yellow Claw here, so a little rock music to start us off for game number one. We just did triple jump in your face, JC. You got it like that? Whoa! Jump back off the top rope. Here we go, the chain shift for the extension. Hannison in position here, pushing Star to the corner. 
Yep. Oh, gets caught out of the jump. There go, big anti air 3C. Just knock you straight out of the sky here for Tannison. Oh. Not spending any bar. Guaranteeing the punish on that veil off with the chain yep. shift. Now, Tennyson with a massive meter advantage. Yeah, that is rough going into round two with the veil off, right? Used all your meter. Tennyson didn't spend any, or at least had full by the end of the round. So, yeah, this could be a quick link into the IW to bring you all the way down to 50%. And then some of that cash for the bonus damage, but Star underscore not respecting the jump in Oki. Yeah, maybe a 3 cat OS there to anti-air your way back out of the corner. Didn't find the hit off the anti-air, but still got out of the corner, right? And now you're finding the hit, keeping Tannison locked down. You're gradually building up the meter as well and securing the cycle. And we saw a little reset there with the standing overhead. Star underscore in position now. CS available. Facing around this command grab range in the air with the double overhead. Yeah, CS off the 2-2-B. Still, Tannison finds his way back on out of here. One more hit could seal it out. I don't think IW kills off of this, even with the, uh, you know, specials. CPO the infinite worth EX. Will it be enough? This is scaled with the CPO. Let's yeah. see it. I don't think so. I don't think it. He's alive. Let's go. <laughs> with the double EX, I, I feel like I've seen a lot of CBOs that would just kill if you go straight into IW, but especially with using the specials. I'm not sure. Maybe I got to do the calculations myself, but no math needed. If you pull up with the grab, AB to an IW of your own. Star ties it up. Start, you know, spending that money because when you die, you can't take it with you. Just, you know, like, all right, I'll spend 200 meter to do just a little bit bonus damage because I am not letting this wall steam. Ooh. Yeah, that's unfortunate. A little bit too late in your shield. Came out as green, and now you got grid broken off the throw. That is rough. If you're in position to throw, green means go. And here we go for Tannison. Oh my god. CS off the god press here. 200 meter available. AB to IW. Don't get too crazy with it, bro. Just kill. There you go. IW. More than enough to kill with the minimum damage scaling. Send him back down to the ground. The belly flop for Tannison takes game number one. That's honestly my most controversial change of Uni 2. Infinite worth this so extra much IW damage. damage. It really does. Yeah. I, it, it feels like an anime game at this point. Like, I get hit at half health. I'm like, oh, I'm dead. No way I live this. Yeah, the, the anime Street Fighter allegations no longer have any evidence behind them. Now we're just anime, anime, anime squared. Anime 2, one might call it, as we head into game number two. Yo, Street, Street Fighter's anime at this point. You also die at half health. Oh, wait, yeah, you're right. Drive Rush made Street Fighter anime. I, I think you're right. Lock on the overhead. Mash on the plus screen. In the zone right now for Tamasu. Alright, slash on through. Super plus off the CS. God press catches you out of the back. <laughs> Unblockable action. You tried to backdash there. Tamasu with actual positioning now. Forward dash not going to be enough. No, Tamasu's feeling himself. Alright, just spend the IW. Yep. ABI. Oh, no. Actually, just. Okay. Opting for the smart steer. Ender says, All right. I'm so ahead on the help. I believe in it. And I want to have 200 meter going into set point. My, uh, my theory is that Tennyson was like, Oh, I'll kill an IW. Let me go for the smart steer. Ender. And then was like, Wait, I have such a big life lead. Let me uh, get yeah. this meter. Which is nice, right? Because uh, the AB Ender also has a pretty long animation. So it gives you enough time to, you know, take stock of the resources, <laughs> see what you want to do. Now you got 125 meter to try and close this out a little extra off this BS. The slide doesn't find its mark. That was such a bold shield there from Star. Damn, shield the jump in into grab, make it two. Are we going to make it three? 200 meter available. Star, you know, still living. All on the line here, one round Ooh. away. Saw with that wake up low. There we go, Thunderclap. I think you're in the dead zone here. Try to find something off the rusty nail, but double FF into the CS. Doesn't find its mark. Body splash, no CS behind it. Grab. It's a little too far. I'm not big enough. Unable to grab. Able to win the cycle here for Star. CBO available. Yeah, I wonder how are we going to spend it here? 100 available. Does the minimum oh, damage kill no. it? Okay. Oh, thank goodness. That was the danger zone. 
Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I would have guessed run up overhead to seal out the round, and I too would have gotten hit there. It's still set point for Tennyson, but all right, Star's got a little more wind in his sails. And Star off to the races, though. The creeping edge gonna allow Tennyson to escape there with quite a bit of grid. Yeah. Well, you went for the vacuum, but instead goes for the SPD. Yeah, the Grappler Classic. Oh, you're plus. Time for SPD. Damn, we did CS off of the Oki into slow walk-up. Gets caught out of the meaty. I think we mostly just wanted to CS there for the meter and then try and win another cycle there. Doesn't work out for Tannison here, but now you have 200 for the next hit. Excellent 3 CAD there from Tannison and creeping yep. in with the creeping edge. Here we go. What's going on, Jaysu? What's good? What's poppin'? Caught out with the clap. 200 meters to your name. A B I W. Don't even need it. We slash you off the screen and send Star down to the loser's side. Pack it up, Peter Packin. <laughs>for the cycle it was all go for Deffy. just needed that one chain shift to confirm the situation and it's yep. go time cleaning it up there and jc what's on screen right now what's coming up next guys we have not mirrored the video it is in fact the waldstein mirror we got smiles versus tannison headed up to the stand i see tannison in the chat his heart was pounding for the previous set and now you got to go in with the elevated bpm against your own character fighting for your life here and smiles finds the first SVD. The, you, you grappler players, they love being a showman, they love showing off, and mm -hmm. Tannison, after watching such a close set, such a back and forth there between Shaylee and Defiant, you gotta live up to the hype now, let's see it, Tannison getting pressured in the corner. Oops. And that's the perfect to start it off for Smiles, you know. Definitely paused the stream bot. They were like, no, no, no. I got to focus up. I know Tannison has been tearing it up at a lot of these online tournaments, so I got to bring my A game. But now, now you're bringing the 6D game. These double assaults, both of them getting caught up by Tannison on the approach. Ooh. And sneaking in the double quarter or double full circle there for that bonus damage and knockdown. Oh my god, help me. And Lid helping us out with the raid of 18. You're just in time here for other side of winner side top eight. We got Tannison versus Smiles. The Waldstein mirror, the SPD ties up the rounds and four reference. We got Tannison over in the orange and uh, Smiles over in this light purple. Man, you just saw these walls go perfect for perfect here. Playing out of their minds. You gotta be playing perfectly if you're on winner side of top eight. Ooh, jump on through, bait out the stand shield. There we go, no body splash needed. We just go for the grid break throw. Oh, dash not allowed here. Tannison playing excellent defense there with the command grab. Down to the sky, there we go. Put this man into the contraption. Even with the grid break not enough, Tannison still able to win the cycle as it closes in. Now able to stripped away though by the wake of Veil off. Yeah, look at the little walk up with the CS right behind it. Said, "All right, I'll bait something out," but still finds the VL, finds the grid break throw. Now we're even on the HP. Bonus damage now in the grid break, poking out with the projectile. Tannison keeping on the offensive. These dashes in. Cool. They're both scared, right? They both have the Earthquake available. Now we go for Body Splash CS. Oh, oh, oh. Tries to go for 2A, but Assault goes right on over Tannison. Should be able to seal it out. No meter needed. Yeah, that jump forward from Tannison trying to avoid the command grab, but smiles a little bit too late on the 2A. Tannison was already up and out of there, getting that jump in confirmed to finish off the final round. And after the perfect for perfect, we got to see some more. That's what I'm saying. I want to see a game three here. I want to see that for all these sets, but specifically for Capital this one. It hurts. Zero. It's a team Rah. kill, but at least it's in the winner's Rah. side, right? Both of these players are still going to have the rest of their runs after this, but we want to make it competitive again. Another empty jump. Grab. Going for the grid break. Miles absolutely in the driver's seat cycle, all but confirmed here as we establish the quarter positioning. 3C there to catch the jump out, but we are still cooking here with Smiles. There we go, it's a clash, it's a counter, it's an assault into a grab. 
god. We, we really are just trading like pseudo perfect rounds. I feel like it's not until we get to round three of any given game that they're able to go back and forth, right? They're just like, all right, little showmanship action. Let me take this walled round. I'm backing up to the full screen. I like that shield at the end of the round. Not that shield there from Tannison, but it's like, okay, if you throw me, I die. If you don't, I win the cycle at least. Yeah, but exactly. Now that we got full health, full resources, the calculus gets a little bit different. Ooh. Jump on through, charge the assault. This time actually going for both aerials. Oh! The, the grappler players just believe too hard. Oh, you're jumping past me. Better get that. Better get that EX command grab churned up just in case. Just for you. I'll get it ready. It was so fast. I thought we were going to have another round three, but instead smiles did not let up on the aggression. One did. We're tied up one one and we're fighting for this final game here to see who makes it onto winners finals. Here we go. Getting the chance to fight Deffy, the Deffy Anki dude, on the winner's finals. Here we go. Final match. Tannison versus Smiles. The Waldstein brothers must slay one another here at Aegis Esports. Mm -hmm. Fighting for the last here. This one is not quite for all the marbles, but you definitely want to stay in the winner's side. You don't want to have to deal with any of those killers down in losers. All right, that's uh, that's cycle one for Tannison here. Stuffed in the locker right now. Tannison struggling. What a stare down! Stuffed in the locker is crazy, bro. We're getting the Waldstein bullying allegations. 200 meter to Smiles' his name. Oh, nice block on the overhead, followed by the jump out, dealing with the standard Waldstein mix. <laughs> Damn, Assault actually brought you over to the other side. I was confused for a second there. I saw the hit and then the immediate side swap. These big bodies scrambling. Definitely a, uh, a lot of visual noise. Again, charge the JC, but just whip on the bottom to go for a grid break throw. It's on the VO. And the, the modest starter here, but will burn the VO time. But Tannison going crazy on the wake up there. I think we saw both of them going for the grab there, but unfortunately the EX just barely wins out in speed. Smile saying, you know, my command grab's got a little meter behind it, and your creeping edge has a little command grab behind it. Keep you in the corner there, Smiles. Playing this defense well. Yep. Right, still a lot of meter for Tennyson here, trying to fight back, but... I don't know, 360C seals out your faith. One more drop for Smiles. Drops Tennyson into the loser's side. <laughs>
force Screw. function has answers, and I'm gonna show them. Able to get past, even with the CS, to confirm that Shaylee was in the air. Deffy dealing with this force function, or sorry, Shaylee dealing with Deffy's force function use exquisitely here. Yep. Yeah, I gets around the Twister once again, right? Just taking to the top rope, says, all right, I got the orb behind me to make sure I can stabilize this combo. Now, though, gets caught out of the, uh, you know, air TP shenanigans. Stuck up in the corner once again. Yes, 6 FF starter. Be though with a sizable grid lead here. Oh, it lets you throw it all away. That was such a risky shield from Deffy. Yeah, that was scary, right? I think you're trying to block out, you know, the or projectile coming behind you and then take your turn afterwards. A grid break, but instead, Deffy undeterred says, okay, I don't have any grid, I don't have any assault, but let me just keep you locked down here and take the round. Ties it up in game number one. Okay, air DP round start getting destroyed by 6FF. You haven't seen Seth much in this game before. The orbs are destroyable. We saw Deffy going out of his way there to destroy the orb with that JB, and now quarter positioning established for Deffy. Oops. No, Vio blocked to staying right out of, not staying right out of range, right? But you just held it down back. You were waiting for any attempt of Shaylee to try and fight his way back on out. 200 meters to your name. Minimum damage on the IW is enough with the 5k. My poor Seth, his low life total, not even 10k. That was over half of his health. Uh -huh. My goodness. In a single combo. I mean, you did need the 200 meter for it, right? But that just shows, right? If you're able to get a clean hit, you, uh, you're you going to be able to seal out the game. So game number one, over to Deffy here. So, like that as well. <laughs> Seth does have a metered reversal. The veil off is extra good because it removes Vorpal from your opponent. So, you know, a good risk to throw there. Both are punishable. So just use whichever one you think fits the situation better. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, just working on you. Caught up on the orb. <laughs> Gotta hit throw. Kept in the corner again. Shaylee healthy on the cycle. Positioning well. Gets the PD orb there. Not able to move at all for Deffy. Ooh. Dodge the twister. Yeah, I think you're you're too high in the air to be able to get a punish, but at least Defiant stuck on the ground saying, Alright, uh, what is what's the move here after the scramble? And yes, it's true, Veiloff does not strip anymore. So uh, oh, you know, being able to win not in a combo? I I think even on you know in wake up, if you hit the VO, it doesn't grid break and chat can correct me. I might be wrong on that one. But you know, very well. I do know that it doesn't strip in combos anymore. I thought yes. if you hit it raw, but we will find out. After oh no! Able to whip cancel the FF, of course. But Shaylee ready, the orb keeping you safe. Yo, Defiant is just throwing out the 6FF saying, please help me. I'm just trying to guard point through anything. Something, Shaylee, right behind you. Nothing personnel, kid. Sends you. D oh, wait, no. Never mind. It's 1 1. Lost track of the scores there real quick, but <laughs> Shaylee, damn, just ran away with a quick game number two. Yeah, Shaylee, I, it, you know, perfect first round, and then only got hit with a little bit of chip, a little bit of bonus damage there in that last one. Super high yeah. life leads both times. So, we're seeing Deffy try and leverage the force function, beat all these Seth air actions, but, you know, Shaylee M able to maneuver away from it every single time. Now showing the JB instead doing something a little bit less committal. Bro, when the orb is off the screen for that long, I know it's like a set detonation, I know they don't disappear, but like, me on the commentary desk, I forget about it, and I'm not even the one pressing the buttons here, right? So how are they in the heat of the moment? It's off screen! Even in the corner, Staley finds another hit here. Oh, whiff of the crab! There we go. He's got the dash block with the pinwheel. See yeah, us on the cross through. And again, these perfects from Shaylee. The life lead always so high in the... Deffy not able to find an answer to anything. Yeah, playing a lot more passive, I think, right? Because when they were trying to play aggressive in that game number two, Shaylee was doing a good job of just running circles, staying right out of range every single time of the 6FFs, of the Twisters. But now Defiant, not too sure what he's uh, trying to mask here. Oh, oh. Gotta go back to old, reliable 6FF, my beloved. 
One thing I will point out there is that the 6FF, they've lost the cycle for Deffy. Showing, yeah. you know, like, this option is very, very powerful, but, you know, the downside is there. Giving up Warple 4 using it. Yeah, you're bleeding grid unless you're able to get a lot of hits off of it and as well, you know, find some really good shields on the defense that, you know, bolster the grid that you're bleeding. You're going to be losing a lot of cycles, especially if you're whipping it. But 5FF, like you said, Deadward, side agnostic doesn't matter where Shaylee is on the screen as long as you're in range of the twister. And, and to be more positive, right? You know, 6FF, oh, it loses me all this grid. That's so bad. But it's such a good move that you press it even if it loses you the cycle. That's what we're finding out here. Defiant showing it against 6FF. Here we go. Exactly. Close to the end of the cycle. Do we find the opportunity to charge the EX? Oh, here we go. Wait, this, this is a lot of damage coming off in the second hit here. Defiant just needs one more to seal out the set. 6FF on block. Scared of the mind of the <laughs> Wake up EX command grab here. Shaylee sitting on the mountain of perfects, but Deffy now only one hit away from continuing on in winner's side. Yeah, you need multiple good hits to bring it back here. Any stray coming off from Deffy should be able to seal it out, but it's so scary. You know Shaylee is looking for the Sagger, scouting out that counter hit. Defiant, 200 meters to his name, and a CS. 2A just gets assaulted right over. Sneaking over guard thrust, no longer grid breaking, only 100 bar, and cleaning that up after a excellent set there. Deffy finding the way in. Oh. Cannot cross it up. You cannot get past it. Yeah, and we've seen Shaylee, you know, deal with some of these moves that hit on both sides or are, are you know, direction agnostic, as you like to say, Edward. So <laughs> I do. We're going to we're going to play a little tricky here as we head into game number one. Shaylee <laughs> versus Salty. <laughs> Set up here fighting for our tournament lives and Shaylee, you know, close match against an excellent player is Star. So the, you know, the battle is, or sorry, Salty to beat Star. I'm, I'm going for it. It's two S names. It's two S names. I know, there's are confused. We got, we got, Star. you beat Star to fight Shaylee and now you're fighting for your lives. You got caught out with the Jawbreaker. Lots of grid for Salty here. Big plus frames on the charged fireball there for Salty. Finding the hit, going to leverage this into a ton of damage. Ooh. Yeah, CS for a little bit of extra meter going into the next round, but EX Fireball seals it out for Salty. What did you mean by Watermelon versus Cheetos, I Heart King? I feel like you lost me on this one. Oh, the color? It's the color! <laughs> I was like, uh, is Shaylee like a Cheetos enjoyer? Like, what did you mean by this? But you are a 3D oh, enjoyer. I'll see this the Cheetos. Check the, check the orange, uh, orange attire. Exactly. You're right. You're right. But all I'm checking is the red HP gradually getting drowned out here by Shaylee. Trying to tie up the lead. Lots of meter on both sides. Yeah, able to sneak in for free there with the cycle. Salty, you know, good green shield there. We'll get a little bit of grid knowing that the follow-up is coming with this hard knockdown off the EX. Oh! Ooh. Hello? What were you trying to do? I assume Backdash was to try and bait out the DP, but no, instead Salty just runs up for the throw, catches you out with the EX Fireballs and the Chin Breaker to seal out game number one. So, so what was blowing my mind there uh -huh. is that Seth Backdash becomes airborne if you hold it, something that Seth players love to do. Yeah. And Salty either caught the few frames where it changes from it, airborne yeah. to grounded before becoming airborne again. Or he or, stayed grounded intentionally, yeah, right? Yo, or Shaylee was just like, nah, I'm gonna do a normal backdash. See, but they're always just taking to the skies. My boy's flying. Yeah, maybe he was thinking, okay, let me hold it so that I get a better punish off of the DP, but Salty just one layer ahead and one game ahead here in loses quarterfinals. Yeah, do or die here. This is your tournament life. There you go. Pick up into the orb once again. I'm, I'm tempted to say re-election, but you guys already know. I don't actually know what the setup is. But there we go. <laughs> Big grid break coming out for Shaylee. Barely any help left to Salty's name. CS available to scout out anything you're looking for in air. DP finds the invul. Nice. The, yeah, the, the standard reversal super there, the grounded DP EX would not have worked. Shaylee, you know, has been playing this character for so long, has the awareness for every situation. 
Bailey was ready for that B.O. punish all the way from downtown. Said, nah, nah, nah. I, you got it. You got all that meter. I'm waiting for you to try and look for something crazy here. Plus, frames off the space out fireball, and now we run up. Salty, you know, using the chain shift to confirm the 2 and 4 b that Shaylee was taken to the ear. Punishing it with the reversal. That's a counter follow-up, allowing Shaylee to punish Salty for the mash, for the reversal. Again, like you said, Shaylee has all the options to these direction agnostic moves. Mm -hmm. Taps on the dome with the orb into gold throw. That's 10 push-ups for Salty here, fighting for his life. Ops to use the grid ender for a little bit better. Oki, but still finds the EX. Help me. EX command grab is invincible. Able to reversal out. Okay. Shaylee the 3D demon bomb. Hito just staying so evasive right now, swinging at the skies. But Shaylee ties it up 1 1. Yeah, the. Seth the speedster, you know, salty kind of swinging at the shadows there, not yeah. expecting, you know, Shaylee to stay in the air for so gosh darn long. He was flying. He's, bro is unfly withable. You're fighting for your life to try and, you know, bring him back down to the ground, try and look for the fly spotter. You're trying to get a big damage starter off of it as well, but it's also a big whip. 1-1 one, one here, final game here of your loser's quarters. Yeah, I feel like Salty's definitely breaking out the, uh, you know, the first to two options against the Seth teleport. These big commitments that are gonna be huge reward, but if Shaylee doesn't go for it, you're kind of left holding the bag. And Salty, you know, we saw Veil off, we saw Shaylee beating him out twice. Now very bad positioning here for Salty. Shaylee getting the optimal position. Ooh. Nah, you got caught out of backdash with the B Tatsu. That is unfortunate. The later hits bringing you all the way over to the corner and a clean 3.8 for it. Standard Sagger pressure just gonna creeping edge out and throw OS with the shield there from Shaylee. Okay. Lands into the VO. Caught out with the jawbreaker here. 200 meter for Shaylee. How are we gonna try and use it? Stand shield, you recovered in time, but still gets caught out with a counter hit. A, B, I, W, keep it simple. And now we're on set point for Salty. With the bonus damage from Veil off, anything could have killed there, but Salty, you know, professional, going for the very easy, the very simple kill combo. Just smart steer ender into the infinite worth. And the J6D tapping you on the dome. I think we saw an attempt at the 2A, but just goes right on over. Such a strong aerial option from Salty here. You have a lot of time to try and bring this cycle back, but now CS into TP on over. Shaylee trying to kill some time. Moving around, but cycle is almost guaranteed for Salty now. Able to force in with the projectile on the mash from Shaylee. Oh man, it was a good back jump to follow the arc of the J6C and stay right on out of it, but EX Fireball brings you to the corner. Dive, no punish. That dive is pretty significant recovery, but not able to punish in time. Ooh, moving the 6C air throne. Oh my god, so many J6Cs coming out from Salty, finds their mark. Shaylee tries to do the same and get CS air thrown for the kill for your troubles. That's Shaylee, that's, that's the end of the run, and Salty is going to move on to loser semis. Deffy, instead, I thought it was going to be in Kidu throughout the entire run. We've only seen the Enkidu so far, but now we're heading on back to the Carmine. No hide, no Laundrekia. We're just, uh, we're trying to go for the one turn kind of shenanigans here. Okay, I see you. Yo, shout out. Thank you, Lufo, for coming through with the rain. What's good, what's good? Thanks for stopping thank on by. You're just in time for Winner's Finals. Thank you, Ridley Prime, for the forearm shout out. But here we are getting started on Winner's side. Deffy going to the Carmine here, which I fully endure. Enkidu does have to get kind of close, get into the range of those loving arms of Smile. But Carmine not looking too good right now. No, not quite. This is a character that, you know, once you're able to get your turn started, it can definitely feel like a one chance kind of situation. And now that we're finally able to find that hit, I, you know, I would not be surprised if Deffy is able to bring this back, right? EX Carmine, you yeah. have the Blood Prison, you have all the setups in the world to try and whittle down Smiles as hell. Oh, Coming God. out of the corner, worse for wear, but yes, the, the UD player meme, the EX Carmine. Oh, I don't have any health anyway, so my special moves are free? Yep. Yes, sir. Uh-oh. Air 
Eric doesn't know how to input IW, please forgive him. For a man who's so, you know, consistent about the double circles, I don't know if I want to believe you, Carpus. <laughs> you know, losing a little bit of faith in himself here after that first round, but still runs you back down to the corner for another Blood Prison. All right, Deffy with the double bomb set up. First one down, bomb has been planted. Okay. CT side, trying to make your way on out here. Defense looking a little rough. Looking at that Celestial, but there's a long time for the cycle. Ooh. Oh, my poor Celestial still will win the cycle in the prison. My, my body may be in jail, but my mind is free. Dude, you're... Oh my god, you're actually door stuck. What, what do I do? 1 HP to your name. If I... Oh, oh. I one good oh. The bomb covering the approach there was excellent. The negative edge there from Defiant. Yeah, the TK assault, right? The JC just to hit right on the other side as you escape the corner. Tied up on the rounds here. Stack of the 5A. Covering the air with the projectile there, but the patience paying off for smiles, covering the approach. Yeah, Fury swipes into the God Press. Now we're stuck in the corner. Head off of me, Veil off. Infinite worth, very quick cancel there, making the most of the damage offered by that Veil off. Yeah, exactly. Just catch the tail end of that Veil off. Make sure, catch the tail end of this counter Veil off. Instead, back that brings you right out of range. Smile's gonna get baited out. You have one more opportunity for a Veil off, and I like the use of the guard thrust there. Yep, just use the remainder of that meter to get back to neutral, play that Waldstein game. And Smiles now, you know, has to navigate very tough neutral. Yeah. Oh my god, cop by all the wheels. We're looking Mario Kart double dash right now, but still survives the onslaught. Two puddles catching you on the way down, and it's defiant to take the first game. Clean and tier the <laughs> Defiance play count on PC keeps killing me. The yeah. 43 what, what games on Carbine. That was 43 oh. games on Carbine. Are you are you grinding PS5 or do you just simply, you know, <laughs> you pick up the character after 20 games, you're like, hell yeah, I think I've solved it. Nah, I'm godlike. Frosty Faustings champion difference. True. It <laughs> is true. I mean, there's the skill of being good at your character and there's the meta skill of learning how to learn. Deffy so strong across multiple characters of the cast and clearly showing it here in winners finals finds the grid break off the run up assault. Oh yeah, Crew's been out for three years. I guess there hasn't really been too many changes aside from the new moves. You had time. Oh! Overhead denied with a mash from Smiles there. You know, longer set here in the winner's finals, so plenty of time for Smiles to adapt, but also time for your mental to just get worn down, forced to dash block against a strong character like Carmine this much. Yeah, born to SPD, forced to dash block, forced to get opened up with a command throw, putting me back into the corner. <laughs> God, no way you can sneak through the, the, the blood prison. Body splash CS, yes. it's a big whiff right in front of your face. Should be able to kill here for smiles with a 170 meter going into the next round. Yeah, showing Waldstein helped out by the system mechanic of Assault. You know, these big bodies usually very slow in the new... But that extra speed from the Assault can really help Waldstein move in ways that other grapplers cannot. Yeah, dude, he's got the tracking jump in, and now the new move right in Uni 2. He has the 2-2 series with the Earthquake that cancels out some other projectiles, right? I feel like, you know, it's pretty committal. I think Deffy can just hold on to some of the puddles, so it's not really a huge factor in this matchup in particular, but definitely a good tool to have, and 360C once again finds the mark. You know what they say about long arms, long command grabs. Even if uh -huh. Deffy looks super spaced there, the command grab is always a threat. Here we go, Smiles. I think you're going to run out the VO just at the end of this combo. Barely any use of the meter here. Blood Prison just to make sure and seal out the grid as well. Yeah, Smiles forced to play counter terrorist here, but getting popped on the dome. That's a headshot, baby. CT side kind of getting clapped right now. One a piece here in game number two. 200 meter for Deffy going into this next round. One hit. It's going to be looping a lot of the pressure into these blood prisons. 
Miles making it in will have to deal with a lot of this meter on Deffy's side, but you know, just never let him play offense. Keep this Carmine stuffed in the locker. Plus, Brains convert here for Smiles. There we go. A little extra 100 meter for it as well. 360C is on deck for any reversal attempts. CS for a lot of meter back too. Seal it out. Anything works. There we go. No EX required. Smiles ties it up clean. 1-1. One, one. Looking great there. Huge life lead for Smiles there at the end. Yeah. You know, just... You know, will take a lot of chip damage dash blocking in. But that's just how you got to play the matchup. Get in, you know, kind of dash block that way into your EX command grab range. The space yep. where you can actually threaten with those big arms of yours and just put the pressure on Deffy. You just got to play it slow and steady here for Smiles. That's the funny thing, right? You're taking chip damage on the way in, but so is Deffy, right? Deffy, you know, using a lot of these blood specials is taking chip damage, keeping you out. So, you know, just playing the keep away is not enough. You're trying to push him over to the corner. Corner, set up this prison, set up the bombs as well. Okay, so the bomb into lots of grid here, just barely out of range of the Celestial. Yeah, but this active defense from Smiles now reducing grid blocks, reducing the amount of meter that Deffy will get once the CS gets popped, and a Celestial for Smiles! Yep, 20%, body slash CS, gets you a little strike throw action, and more importantly, so much meter to keep up the pressure with the Vorpal refund. Slap into that speedy. Yeah, I mean, the Celestial giving the meter for the EX clap, and that EX clap is plus frames, allowing Smiles a rebuy, a chance to put the pressure on, and we are seeing that right now. Alrighty, Smiles takes the round here. No CS is going to save you in the middle of the combo. He's going to meter on both sides. Smiles, you know, not only finding these situations to get in, but also making the absolute most of them. The offense has been out of this world. You know, playing the grappler well with your heart on your sleeve, reading what sort of defensive options Deffy is going for. Very tough in the corner here. Yes, he has available. The pinwheel just snipes you out of the sky. It's not a big conversion. At least keeps you locked down to the ground here in Blood Rain. This is back down. Drop on the combo, though. Might have been the kill. Bad position <laughs> here. Tons of meter available for Smiles. This is where it starts. Cycle guaranteed for Smiles. Let's see the mix. Yeah, you got Cycle, you got 100 meters, CS available as well on top of the extra damage. No, I imagine run up in your face concentration is not what you wanted. Probably looking for the assault, that is rough. So unfortunate there, yeah, trying to sneak in with the overhead, the plus frames off of assault, but a little bit of a miss input. Celestial coming up for Smiles, we'll get it. Yeah, there we go. Lots of meter behind you, but you still have 200 in the bank, right? So I imagine you're looking for an EX, but Blood Rain takes to the skies and says, no, 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 you're good. Waste all that meter for me. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Smiles was just flexing there. Popping full grid blocks with 200 bar. Like, I gotta see it. And he goes to the skies. Instead, holds on to the down back, looking for the shield, but instead... Oh, Cycle's not gonna save you now, bro. You got one HP and a drink. Oh, but this is where it starts. Fail off for Smiles. Overhead blocked by Deffy. The pressure still going, though. Sneaking in the grab whiff. Yep. Plus a million. Oh, the, the, grid break. the green shield a little bit off there, allowing Smiles another chance to punish with the assault C. Warple damage oh. bonus. Warple popped. Put him into the contraption, built up enough meter for the suplex. Smiles puts a second game on the board, but we're first to three over here in the winner's final. So we still got at least one more game on the board. You cannot leave these walled players on the magic pixel and the perfect out there, you know, didn't block the overhead because of, of all the visual noise with the blood rain and whatnot. But then yep. we saw it. Veil off, damage bonus, keep the pressure up, and then... That super unfortunate shield mistiming by Deffy gets the green shield, which gets fully punished and grid broken by Smiles, and we're going into this fight, potentially final game.
Yeah, let's see it. I don't know. Deppy trying to look for the one turn that we know Carmine for. A cuddle right behind you, 6B. Keep you locked down, but that's a lot of grid bled for uh, for Smiles here off of the shields. Yep, still has CS available. Get off the active defense here. All those shields getting a ton of grid, but after getting opened up by Deffy once, it's all going away. Yeah, see it's still available. I mean, you're going to lose the cycle anyway. You might as well use it for the tiny amount of grid. 200 meter. Still to your name. Barely any help for smiles. Do we cash out the kill just to confirm? Indeed we do. They need the 100. Excellent. Yep. You know, routing there by Deffy. And that round, you know, showing how this matchup will be going when Deffy's winning. Keeping a total prison in the corner there. And the Warden is in. Deffy is in control. And that throw attack really sealed the cycle out for Smile. Still getting caught up on the throw, which means the pinwheels are coming at you. Crossed up, but still off the counter. It did not find the confirm. So Smiles fights back once again. What a scramble there. Deffy losing out even after finding the counter hit and now smiles has that quarter positioning it's go time perfect guard thrust avoiding the plus frames Ooh, but this one's up to the pro pin go right behind charge 5c the salary man overhead Deffy, no! cycle still here for smiles could look for the wake up cs what are you going to do with it though 150 minutes to your name it's a guard thrust Punish just the back dash, but not able to confirm. Blood Rain, get a whiff, but seal it up for Defiant. Bro, the most evil laugh as Carmine does TK Assault right on over your head. The JC hits on the other side. He goes, <laughs> he, he knows what he's doing. He's having a grand old time here, and it's not quite grand, but we're in our final game of Winner's Finals. Here, th this is genuinely the final game. Here we yeah. go, folks. Winners finals here, trying to secure that spot in Grand. Yeah, let's see. This one's been super back and forth, right? It feels like every game that each player is able to win, it does not feel, you know, close on either way. Like, they're just one layer ahead for the entire two rounds, and then they take turns, right? So, game yeah, number five, let's see where this evens out with Deffy finds the overhead with the Charge 5C. Getting all the momentum here. Corner positioning. Vorpal. It's all going Deffy right now. Again, at the long range, back where Command Grab is being threatened, but Deffy doesn't want to approach anymore. These shields are pretty free for Smiles, and is making the most of that. Getting a ton of grid while playing defense in the corner. What? Jaisu? <laughs> Georgia Peter, yeah, just spend it. You do not want to leave Deathy alive. You don't want to even give him a chance. Hit him with what, the body what did line. that air command grab catch? That's a great question, dog. <laughs> you lost me on this one, dog. I, <laughs> I, you're going to have to reclip that one for me, but no, nah, Deffy says I'm living in the present. No worrying about the past here. It's set point for Smiles. Still trying to find your turn. We're going to need the Aegis Esports Forensics team to take a look at that one. Well, I'm saying dead word. Now, though, Deffy is still at large on the offense here, finding the overhead. And that The heartbreaker there, you hate to see that as a player. You see the shield from Smiles, but your throw is just a little too far away. Missed out on that grid break. Smiles is still playing here, still in it. Nah, I'm mad about that slow walk up from Deffy just getting through frame SVD. Like, what, <laughs> what happened? Smiles is right. leader now. And, and like what the, the counterplay is so dangerous, right? Like you shield yeah. it, you shield JC, ah, guaranteed punish now. But the second Smiles doesn't go for JC, lands, goes for the SBD, you are yep. grid broken, you are unhappy, your day is going terribly, and you're in the final round of winner's fight. Yeah, That's I know we good. were talking about Carmine, you know, in that hypothetical, but now I think it's how Smiles is feeling, right? Locked up against the corner, one hit away, charge 6C, hits you with the salary man overhead once again. 100 meter on both sides, but Deffy looking clean to win the cycle off of all these shields. Oh. Backdash, not enough to reduce it. Will lock Defiant out of Celestial, but that is okay. All the positioning using that Carmine Vorpal trait can lose a little bit less health on all of these special moves. 
Oh my so god. Meter, CS available. Do we set up the Blood Prison once again? Guess for game. Yeah, this is any hit should do it here. Have to deal with the double bomb mix up. Base throw, base throw once again, but you know, Smile's kind of out of the woods here. One more chance. Daniel CS wins the cycle, oh! but gets caught out of the air by the Blood Rain. No pickup. Yeah, and no invincible option there to beat the Red Mist and defy it there off the stagger. Going to take it over Smiles after a disgustingly long set. That was fantastic. So honestly, whoever makes it out of losing semis is going to be a uh, it's going to be a good one here. But still, our final first to two of the evening. Tennyson's like, let me get the run back. Help Please. me, bro. <laughs> let me at him. Let me, add a, let me solo him as we head into game number one here. Immediately going for the charge J6C. Oh, catching on the dome there, the Skull Buster from Salty. There we go. AB for some clean pressure here. Just stagger the two A's. <laughs> oh, Tannis has had enough. All right, that was one dash too many. Yeah, he's like, I'm good, man. I get it. You enjoy staggering. You enjoy trying to throw out the EX Fireball, but instead my claws are reaching right before the active frames, clearing them right off the screen. Oh. Back there, and see green, it's time to go. That throw from Salty gonna grid break Tennyson. Almost guaranteed this upcoming cycle for Salty. Yep. Yes, for Salty, lots of meter in the bank, 200. Uh, this stagger pressure is not opening up Tennyson, right? We're looking for the green shield, we're looking for any opportunity to try and jump out, but he's fine. He's content with just winning the cycle and said, all right, you got meter, so do I. Oh, I thought we were gonna see an EX cancel there. Yeah, jump out, getting denied by B. Tatsu. Has a little bit of a anti-air hitbox on that. Sniping the jump out by Tannison. And the infinite worth. You know, this character still does too much damage. I look over to chat, I see Deppy say, that was the most I've ever seen Tannison block. And then I look over and he's dead. And I was like, no, oh, your defense is so good. I looked away for just a second, but IW, once again, stealing out a rod for Deppy. blocking. It's jumping out to kill Tannison. Yeah, exactly. Not saying, look at where that got him. Oh, the stupid run up for the SPD with a grid break. Tannison, you got 200 meter in the bank, seal it out. ABIW, no, just go straight into the super. Right. Clean stuff, infinite worth though, and you know, Salty not having such a big meter advantage going on. Honest, Uni kind of feels like a game at this point where it's like the meter leading into the match doesn't even because the first cycle gives so much meter, the first combo gives so much meter. Tannison already super well positioned on meter. Yeah, exactly. Meteor kind of flows like water in this version of Uni here, but still having the advantage. Salty looking on his way to build up the solid 200 here. You have CS for the wake up on Tennyson, but still, it's it's scary to try to make anything out of it. Yep, when you have the EX Fireball, still locking you down at a distance. Forced to block after the creeping edge, but it doesn't matter. The the positioning is what you were looking for there. Now Tannison positions super well. Salty to the corner can really start throwing out these three Cs. Control the air. Oh, there go. Neutral tech caught out by the Tatsu. Strike throw. Guess for your life. Deep dash there. Tech from Tannison. Oh. You won the cycle, but at what cost? Shimiya <laughs> Shimiya takes the first game for Salty. The class, the, you know, hide Akka, they love the in and out. Oh, oh I've just backdashed. Now it's time for me to press my big button to throw my fireball. Nope, I'm coming right back in with the yeah. throw. Yeah, you know the spy family Anya meme when she's like, oh, I left this distance for you to <laughs> throw with and then get counter hit. Oh no, it sure would be rough if someone tried to go for 4 AD right now. We're heading into game number two. Let's see if Tannison can switch up the story a little bit. You, you gotta break out the blocking again. Let my grappler block. Let's see. Oh no! <laughs> oh god. I, w I was waiting for the hit to be like, oh, Salty's dead. Here we go. <laughs> Combo commentary, here we come. But no, the 
Spivesy going the wrong direction there. No punish on the reversal. Yeah, that's unfortunate. The commentary curse. We were, we were waiting with bated breaths, trying to see the hypest thing possible. But unfortunately, the silliest thing possible happened. And Salty looking to tie up this health lead. Yeah, call me an X-Men. I'm commentary cursing people with my brain waves now. Yeah, exactly, bro. You gotta you're a little too powerful for your own good. Tries to find a 3C, but instead just gets swiped out with a triple EX fireball. Alright, meter available. Salty's gotta be careful on the offense here. The EX command grab coming out. Ooh. Three CS still available here for a little extra meter. Nah, just toss him back into the sky for an extension. Cannot kill on this one, but looking into a final guess for game situation. Wake up, Max there by Salty. Unafraid, baiting the guard for no punish. No punish for no punish. The karma of the universe, it evens out. Oh my god, you went for 5A, but Waldstein, the model is big, but a little bit too far out. Still able to seal it out there off of the gold throw, but dude, I know both of these players are sweating. They're looking to jump into that pool as soon as that set is over. <laughs> Let me out. I'm not, I'm not trying to drown though, Tannison. Taking the corner positioning here. Forcing Salty onto the defensive. And shield getting blown up there, the grid break, allowing Tennyson to get ahead in this grid war as well. Getting this bonus damage from the grid break. What the anti-air chin buster? I, I can't even, I can't even play by play this. There's too much going on. I would not have even thought to look for Antier at that range, right? Because Tennyson was just, you know, hitting you with the... It felt like the 45 degree grappling click at that point, bro. But, you know, Salty, not one to give up. Tennyson was too far ahead as well. Like, time to scramble with the EX command grab. <laughs> oh, caught up with the earthquake. Nothing found off the meter usage here. CS still available for Tennyson to be healthy on the gauge. Oh, the... Confident no walk-in. Walk up slowly in SPD. We got Captain the Captain Wall here looks for the shield off the Atatsu. What the? Is that a whip? Uh, charge J6C into the low to grid break. I think it was into the AB Ender for the Oki. 3D gets you out of the corner, but back throw puts oh, you right whoa. on back. X whips. Man, not even Honey, I shrunk the walls enough to take the win there. Salty will be continuing on to fight Smiles on the loser side. Smiles, we had Star, we have Shaylee, and they're all like relatively short S names here, right? Yeah. So definitely, you know, keeping us on our toes here as we head into our final top three of the evening. Losers finals headed up to the stand. Salty versus Smiles once again. These these tags are mixing. It's simple. Exceeded now. We just dash on through the stage. Push him all the way over to the corner here for a little throw action. Oh, that throw tech gonna give Smiles all the grid in the world, and Break will confirm that it will be going into this next warble here. Yep. Okay. AB for the clean Oki here, all the time in the world to dash up. And again, without meter, the red mist does not mean much for Waldstein, has no... Let's move to test it. Yep. Oof. There you go, knocked out with the elbow. Doesn't find the grid break throw, but still does find the throw at least. Gets you a little bit of room out of the corner here. Salty is just letting the down back D roll. Oh! Excellent anti air there. We saw Salty holding that space there. Was definitely looking for the assault in. Oh. Yeah, I thought the EX Fireball would actually catch off the claws, but they were just already in your face. Speaking of DP, now Smile saw that last set, saw the drop on the DP. And said, I'm going to wait for you to land on the other side. I got you. <laughs> Tannison saying, take my power. He said, bro, don't let my, my DP miss me in vain. Yes. <laughs> Tannison planting trees that he will never sit in the shade of. Smiles, though, saying, thank you. This is what the human experience is all about. Yeah, it's the giving tree right now. And we're giving a lot of stagger pressure here. A top two just waiting something out. No, instead, not opting for the shield, but still finds the throw. It's cycle one for Salty. Oh, 
We did charge into jump back, JC. And look at the awareness there from Smiles, right? After the cycle win, you know Bitatsu is a lot more appealing in neutral. Smiles covering it perfectly. Both of these players playing very predictive, incredibly right now. We saw before Salty holding the ground, standing right at Assault JC range, trying yeah. to bait Smiles into doing it. And there at the end, we saw the Bitatsu coming out right away, right when it's appropriate for the meters, for the resources, and Smiles... Yeah. I, I'm in your head. Professor Xavier, I know what you're going for. <laughs> Not the psychic X-Men power, bro. <laughs> I think it's it's interesting. An interaction that we're seeing a lot, right, is Salty trying to go over these spaced out EX fireballs, you know, whether it's whip cancel or even just at a, what he thinks is inappropriate spacing. And then Smiles either already has the meterless thunderclap out or he's ready for the EX version, right, just to put that hitbox right in your face. So I wonder if we're going to see a little bit more of that as we head into game number two. Grid broken off the throw. <laughs> Grid break here and off the CS, the match there from Salty. And then continue to hold this excellent corner positioning, keeping the pressure up. These dashes building a little bit of grid, but it is the hit that guarantees it for Salty. There you go, CS still available as well. Next hit should be able to kill handily. I think, yeah, we might as well just go for the spend here. All good. No meter going into the next one, but Salty still thinking about that preview. It doesn't, and not able to kill. All good. We got jump over, cross up action to the 2A, 2A. I truly feel like I was like, wow, that's a big meter dump. I, at least it kills. The the CVO scaling has. Yeah. People tonight. Every time there's CVO in a combo, I feel like, oh, this is. Yeah, even if they were at 1 HP, I'd just be like, no, it's skilled up the CVO. But now you're getting bounced off of the backboard here. Smiles tries to go for the command grab, but still Salty finds the tech. Oh, no, Claw swipe you up, but no full confirm. Now we get the side swap off of the Tatsu clean. Can't threaten EX command grab on defense though. Salty has to be very careful where they choose to press. Assault being very appealing as well as B Tatsu off the ground. What did that catch? Oh, I guess it caught up the 360C attempt, right? So because it's airborne immediately, already catching you out. Air throw Ender here with 100 meter to your name. Keeping this pressure up with the threat of CS, the no cancel B Tatsu. Still safe because of the threat of that CS. Now you gotta be careful. Bail up. Yeah, you're still at 360 speed. Stock up in the bank, and now you're gonna win the cycle handily as well. But I know it's one touch on either side. Tries to go for the parry. Oh, oh he finds a whip. Smiles ties it up. Excellent poke there, reaching just where they needed to. Smiles playing this neutral fantastically, forcing it on the cl nice. clap plus frames, going to be checked by Salty. Yeah, I like the fuzzy match 2A there. A lot of times we've been seeing Smiles, you know, rotate JC versus the empty assault, but instead if you're looking for the fuzzy timing there, should be able to catch it out. I don't know if Waltzine has a good uh, way of air stalling, you know, to try and catch that attempt out, so. Absolutely not. The only thing Waltzine can do is fall from the top yeah. rope. <laughs> Oh my god, stop! <laughs> oh my god, did they both know? He said, nah, I'm good, dude. I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> this whole whip 5 c in my face shenanigans, smiles, I'm unhappy. I am no longer smiling. I'm pulling up with J6C. They, they both just understood the assignment right away. Anti-air veil off after that many whiffs? Yep. Ooh. There we go, grid break two, smiles, the last of your veil off. I wonder if you're looking for 2-2-C there, but either way, no meter for either side, looking like the final boss of MGS4, old Akatsuki, old <laughs> fighting for some resources, and CS gets you all the meter that you need. <laughs> Undernight, Undernight never changes, the chin buster here, but no, confirmed! Salty, if you lose the round off of this drop, you will never live it down. But don't worry, we got the breakdown tying it up. <laughs> one, one. Guys, what's happening? Unbeatable. Salt, salty, salty heard you and locked in. Was like, no yeah. way I'm losing this. He said, you're right. I can't have J2 commentary cursing me, backseating me <laughs> from the stand. No, no, no. We're tying it up 1-1 one, one here, heading into game number three. As a reminder, it's first to three for the rest of the evening, so we still got a few more games to go. What a cool Going cool. losers cool. finals into grand finals here. Oh. Miles trying to get that run back against Defiant. <laughs> Yep, empty jump, double circle, brought you to the corner, but a lot of these dash block two A's, the stagger, finally catches you out, smiles, what were you looking for? Double dash, break over the pack dash here, finds the parry, but CS keeps you safe. Yeah, getting the guaranteed punish after that CS. 
Uh, to parry very dangerous while your opponent has Warpool. And even dangerous when it's missed, timed like that. Smiles whiffing, allowing for the punish there. Damn, Salty is even trying to go for the delays on the shield and the parries as well, but Smiles just one step ahead, slows down his pressure just a little bit longer to find these counter hits. But speaking of counter hit EX Fireball from the round start, Salty is trying to bring it back with the meter. With that early positioning, but respecting a little bit on the offense will get thrown here. Okay. Throw tech handily wins you the cycle. Not quite Celestial, but still a lot of meter on the ground. No counter hit. Yeah, the three ways grid swings. Active defense, active yep. offense, or a throw tech or completed throw. So exactly. throws are some of the biggest swings. Well, speaking of a big oh, swing here, CS on the overhead just waiting for the BO to come back out. Smiles, steal it out with the meter. There we go. The EX God Press puts a second game on the board. Yeah, that's such a resource fighting game class, right? Like, yeah. oh, I was right. You know, I saw the startup of your overhead that's predictable, yeah. and I went for an option that beats it. Bail off. But. I have my not nah, I win anyway mechanic. The CS exactly. there, keeping smile safe. Come on. That it's actually the caught you flinching energy, right? Because if you let yeah. it rock, if you had let the active frames go, you would have just got caught and out by the VO, right? So you're not looking for overhead into CS, you're looking for that hard bait. So smart choice. Put smiles one game away from that ticket to grand finals loser side. We are in it right now. No tech. Miles keeping this offense up, cycle gain. <laughs> Clap right in your face, plus a million. Oh my god, help me. Yeah. Ulti well positioned though, meter CS, everything you need to make a comeback, you're just one hit away. Oh, there we go, backdash, a little shimmy action, drops the combo once again, no! I saw it the second time that Salty has dropped that specific combo, so... Right, off of the J6C, yeah. It's, uh, maybe it's an awkward hit, harder to confirm than I would think, but Smiles just lets the 360C rock once again. Man, cleaning up here, that drop so significant, gave up the corner positioning when, Smi or when Salty was at his strongest. Yo, EX Kamedon to go right on through the fireballs. We've seen Salty show EX fireball round start so many times, so Smile is going for the hard read. <laughs> Wait, did you see the 3AD beat backdash? I did. You know, That's I'm a god bad, but... That OS is crazy. We'll take it. And we'll take the mill off as well for a little extra damage. Trying to get something with the meter here. That's just, bro, he's ice skating on you right now. Oh, not able to have enough time in the veil off to get the EX Fireball for the plus frame, but yep. Smiles scrambling like crazy with the command grab on landing. Scary, there we go, finds the tech, jumps right on over the clip. Perfect starter for the answer. You know, jumping through the command grab, and here we go, no! I got the answer, Persona 3, DLC, 3 frames, but still finds the thrust to go right on through Salty. Ties it up, but it's still... Still set point for Smiles. So with the Salt JC is now being pushed ever so slowly to the corner. There we go. Finds the shield. No, I was going to say seals out the cycle handily. Gets hit, but still finds the hit on the other side off of the dash out of the corner. Oh, tried to go for the air throw ender here. Still a little awkward on the Oki, so not quite ready to catch Smiles on the wake up. Yep, gonna use the ender to get the corner positioning. Tons of bar on the side. Oh, smiles. <laughs> Again! Looking for the VO, bro. You got CS, I got VO. Fighting for your life. The reversal does not find its mark. Smiles goes for the IW. It's a decent amount of health, though. I don't know how the starter was. Not enough. Kill. Final chance here for Salty. Oh, no. This is how it starts. Alright, CS still available for Smiles, though. You gotta look out for that 3-frame SPD. CS on the wake up. No, we just smashed on through. 
Again, it's happened so many times tonight. We're seeing the red mist for Steam player, but no invincible action to take against it. Just force the block. Oh, jump over! So We're so back. <laughs> Looking for the 360C says, nah, I'm thinking in 3D. Let me take to the skies with a big knee. And we're tied up 2-2. Final game of Losers Finals. Let's see it. Spitting like a rap god, Jaysu on the mic tonight going into this game five. Get excited, everyone. This has been an incredible set, and we're about to see one more game. Salty might be kind of nasty with it, I'm not going to lie to you. Now with a little bit of extra momentum, wind in his sails, pulls up with a step kick, and it's cornered for Smiles. Oh, oh. Smiles has got to be feeling, you know, all the punishes that Salty has gotten on the command grabs here. Really getting optimal with that J2C. Ooh. Oh, kick throw. Kick throw off the 5A. Back to keep you locked down in the corner. Just ass blocking Salty. Content to try and be patient on his way back out. Back and forth a whiff there. Pick up in the corner, 100 meter to Salty's aim. I imagine we try. I I wouldn't be surprised if we try and fight for this first round, right? We don't want to put the momentum in Smiles' favor just that quick, even though you're down quite a bit on the health. Three CAD OS gonna connect on block there. Smiles with the offense now. We burn the 100 bar here. Salty taking Smiles to the corner. I think with this meter situation, it's two hits unless you get a really big starter. Yeah. I would think so, right? You have to build up the 100. There we go, catch oh. the EX Flash. Now, I was not paying attention to the meter there. Built for Salty, but not enough. Oh no, EX Fire Ball just a little bit too uh, slow on the start up there, but at least you're able to get the lockdown. So scary, one touch on either side. Smiles wins the cycle. CS built. EX Command Grab is now a threat. And Ooh. Salty just knows. Salty understands it, is seeing through the matrix every single EX command grab defeated. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of TK dropkick now. I think Salty has really caught on for Smiles. Looking for these 360As on the defense. Three frames. Still, the total duration gets you counter hit here. And again, another counter hit for Salty in the corner. Lots of meter spent. Or lots of meter built, rather. Perfect positioning here. Those grid rocks are going to materialize into a ton of meter. Able to keep the pressure up. The stripping the Vorpal now. There we go. Caught up the EX Fireballs. As long as Salty doesn't drop, he seals his ticket to Grand Finals. Loser's side 3-2 over Smiles. Walled rounds, that's how it goes for a set. No, I'm, I'm seeing it firsthand here. What we're seeing is our final set of the evening. We got Grand Finals, Salty coming in from Losers, and Deffy holding it down in the winner's side. Yeah, I mean, the tale of two cities right now. Salty play Infinity Games to make here on the loser side. Meanwhile, Deffy just chilling in winners the whole way through. Yeah, you got to try out the Anki do a little bit, see the 6FF, but here we go. It's Carmine time. Yeah, looking for the one turn, but Salty finds the first hit here. Not the greatest defense coming off from Carmine here, but, you know, Deffy content to just use the system mechanics. 3D to get out of the corner, shield to try and take the turn back, but again, Salty finds another. Cool. Mashing out here the Abare from Deffy. Guarantee this corner positioning. Set up the double bomb here. Oh! Weird scramble there after the creeping edge. Deffy finding two great hits and not able to burn either one. All right, set the pinwheel, charge the overhead. There we go, 6C, my beloved. But not the kill. Danger, danger, dashing past the wheel. All right, shield pushes you at such an awkward distance for both of them. They're scared to look for the dash block, but finally we jump on through. Defiant takes the first round. All right, and we did catch the first throw OS there from Deffy using the uh, 7DA doing a, a jumping shield 
if yep. nothing happens, and a throw tech if you get thrown. Yeah, the 171 action. Speaking of the throws, EX throw coming out here, caught out on the back that with the pinwheel, you cannot escape, Salty. Oh, oh. All coming up defiant here. One mix away. First bomb, second bomb. Finds the green, but no throw. And again! <laughs> Salty lived, the boy who lived and the boy who got out of the corner and then dropped his combo. It's okay, the dog ate your inputs, I understand. De Deffy was dialing that offense in, saw the green shield twice and was not able to find the throw either time, using the double jump mobility there from Salty to get out. Very clean stagger there to finish it up for Defiant, taking this game one in grand finals. Yeah, Deppy's been waiting, right? You know, just chilling out and watching a lot of these matches. Meanwhile, Salty's been fighting for his life against the walled gauntlet, right? So the mindset yeah. is, you know, ready for the grapplers. But now that <laughs> the corner against the blood prison, there's like three pinwheels, four bombs on you. You know, as, as a humble CT man, you're fighting for your life. <laughs> I'm not even from this game. <laughs> yeah. so I'm not even from this series, bro. I'm just, I've been out of counter. Just trying to make oh. my way over, but. All right, game number two here. Jump on in. Good shield there on the final hit of Assault JC. To keep this momentum up for Assault team. J succeeds. The whip right on top, but no shield from Deppy. The, da the dash macro into blocking the overhead. The speed is quick there. De what does Deppy play on? Is that that leverless action? That's a great question, to be Is honest with you. I do not remember when I saw it on Frosty's, but I did see the big raid from Big Black. Thank you for stopping on by. Once again, you're just in time for Grand Finals game number two. Yeah, Deffy at a one game advantage here on the winner's side, a celestial advantage. With cancel into the EX, keep it safe, keep it clean there for Salty. Yeah, I think Salty, you know, you're feeling a little bit of that fear, that hesitation, saying, I do not want to give Deppy any opportunity to fight back out of the corner. One HP to my 100, it's okay, I'll spend the 100 to seal it out with EX Fireball here. But no, the 2A gets caught out with the Assault. Probably gonna see a prison here. The beater, but not connecting there for Deffy. Yo, J6B send the needle out, 45 degrees. Looking a little cold out in the park right now, but just dash blocks right on through the pin. Keeping the plus frames up, spending a lot of health to do it, navigating with the blood rain. That low crush gonna do work here for Deffy. That was an insane response. I'm not gonna lie to you. You were ready for the EX flash after the, uh, you know, after the change shift and looking for the blood rain to bring yourself right up off the ground. Puts a round on the board here in game number two. Yeah, able to throw bait with the jumping projectile, securing that round for Deffy. Force function just to get a puddle up a little quick, but. JC, what just happened there? The projectile of the infinite war. Yeah, right? Just send it out. You know Deppy is looking for the blood puddle to hop its way on through, but instead, we're just gonna whip right into the IW. Lots of health taken for Deppy here, but also 200 meter to try and bring it back. I imagine we're saving on the IW just to make sure we get a double blood prison. Back to back, Luke the Oki. <laughs> Unless you finally get the hit. TK J6B doesn't find anything. Position there. Mixing up the increased timing there, not going for the overhead, going for the uncharged version in the low. Ain't no way. Just run up on it. Deffy should be able to kill with the IWEX. Is that run up overhead? I couldn't tell actually. Like it was actually so fast I didn't even realize. Regardless, Salty is getting eaten, put into the salt of the earth. And now one win away defiant in this grand finals yeah it feels like salty is doing a good job you know just being patient in the corner and finding a couple of these good opportunities to try and fight back but you know afterwards you know you get a you get a scramble under it's not the greatest oki in the world right and then Deffy is just able to to weave his way right around your offense so it's scary especially against carmine someone who is so scary especially when you have meter behind it yeah you know you took a few hits but all that time right while you're getting comboed while you're getting pushed over to the corner holding a lot of these block strings you're also building up meter so that when you finally get that hit you know ex carmine at the one hp chip damage you're just looping blood prison over and over again so let's see it if we can keep it up to make it a clean 3-0 sweep or if salty can put a game on the board
Yeah, Defiant definitely dealing with the projectiles excellently right now. We saw the jump forward increase JC as a punish there. And we also saw the Blood Rain N reaction getting over the projectiles with that low crush. Yeah, speaking of the low crush, instant. Oh my god, both of the hits that Defi got in the first 15 seconds of the round with both just run up, delay, assault to go right on over Salty. But instead, there we go, we get the side swap. Wait out the CS, lots of meter for Defi. Oh, difficult confirm there, but gets a nice chunk there, Defi. You know, on the fly confirms. All right, you dash block, making sure you didn't get hit by the blood rain. Got caught in the corner, but at least you got the back throw. Oh my god, I'm, I'm terrified, dog, for both of these players. Defi's about to build up the 100 meter. I like the whip right outside to make sure that you don't have an option to try and get a reversal out, but now he built it back up. CS. That was an excellent throw there at the end. Defi not teching, you know, was about to, was going to win the cycle no matter what. The only thing yeah. that did was deny the Celestial, but Salty will deny that round win for Defi. Now, you know, trying to keep this Grand Finals competitive. Ooh, we say as the DP gets rocked on block, now you're gonna get clogged, send you over to the corner with 200 meter to your name. All right, rock'em, sock'em, the puddles are complete. The cycle, one for Defi, bomb explosion is gonna be punished for full damage here. Yep. There we go, just let the pinwheel get the knockdown. Lots of meter back from the CS. Dude, we're back at 200! No way. It's impressive that Defi did that whole combo with the negative edge still. Oh, I hate to say it, but that was championship material here. Will Defi take it? Final round, potentially. I don't know if one blood puddle didn't work. We'll do it again. Send out the crystals, but instead, getting caught out by the EX fireball once again. It's salty. Put a game on the board here, J6C. Oh, goes for the side swap and the life gain here. Alright, DD finally finds his mark here. Get out there from Defi all the way in the top rope. Defi was scrambling with assault with jump there, just in the air the whole time. Okay, a counter VO of your own. We yeah, have the, uh, out of there. That was definitely next hit if Defi opened you up. Yep, stagger pressure. And I mean, Defiant has no meter, right? So there's no reversal opportunity. Well, you know, oh, we got meter now. And then we did neutral CS. <laughs> Yeah, about to build a hundred. No, the falling button just barely whipping. Defi may be looking for an empty low, but Salty finds the hit. Do or die right now for Salty. Both players one hit away. Cracked on the dough. The skull crusher here for Salty. Oh, do we have a route that kills here? Yeah, I, I agree. Just going for the Oki okay, grit doesn't matter when it's one hit away. And Salty off the 2A puts a game on the board. And we got a grand finals here, folks. Yeah. Salty do or die situation there swinging with the overhead salty with cs knowing that defiant had to really commit there to beat that overhead it was pretty safe to throw out and with the cs confirmed salty able to do excellently there oh, you saw that instant rematch too right salty trying to keep up the momentum defi trying his hardest not to lose it and again right we're seeing a lot of these two a's these two m's getting caught out by run up assault from defiant now we're stuck in the blood prison double Puddle just waiting. <laughs> Set up perfectly here. Defi now taking it clean there. We saw the momentum started at the start of the round and given up at all. Caught up with a 5C, a little stagger action after the blood rain. Oh, oh. A dash block out with the throw, but Defiant all the way up in the sky has no opportunity to punish, and Salty finds the hit. 3D back on out. Creeping Edge gonna escape out. Yeah, we see a lot of back dashes for Defi to go back out to the mid screen. I think this early into the cycle, it's fine to give up a little bit of grit, especially now that you're stuck in the corner against Mail off Defi. Very scary here. Any EX to rebuy, any hit will go into prison. There we go, set the pinwheel. Don't get too greedy with the EX cancel. And again, Salty taking a turn on his own for VO, V Tatsu IW. Put a round on the board. It's still tournament point for Defi, but Salty still got one in him. That extra damage for the Veil off, gonna dodge the funny number, but Salty flying in off that assault. 
Here we go. Dash block, but instead it put you back into the corner. I'll be on the grid cycle. What are we going to do? Finds the hit with the 2M. It is all coming up salty right now. Huge life lead. Resources in every direction. Staying in. Strike for action. J6C caught out off of the Sagger. Salty didn't even need the meter to tie it up. Two, two. Deadward, you were right. We got a set on our hands now. We're one game away from the reset. One game away from the tournament being over in this final set. This one might just be for all the marbles. That was back and forth the first two games. And finally, game four, Salty just explodes out. Doing so much right now. Said in ST, he didn't throw. That's a, crazy, that's a crazy conclusion. A top two right on block finally finds the throw. Go, one work, we'll do it again. J6C. Yeah, Deadly Plant passive. You have no meter to your name, right? So you're just looking for any opportunity to go for throw tech. Now, now you have CS, lots of meter off the Blood Rain. Yeah, you know. Playing excellent defense there, and Salty going in for that throw, allowing Defiant to win the cycle there. There we go, finds a parry, a little reflector action, 200 meter for the IW, but we just oh, go for EX not to. I, I oh. wonder... I wonder if Salty knew that they would have built the 200 meter there if they would have gone for Infraport. But that's true, maybe Saw like, oh, he's close? So just goes for the route that he knows on the off chance he's at like 199, right? Yeah, no, it was gonna be close, no matter. I am here, spending the 100 there, taking the corner, and now Defi, excellent positioning, puddle set up, CS available. Here we go, rebeat right in front of your face, just toss out the five Cs. Even with the throws stealing so much grid, Celestial is still won by Salty. There we go, a little dash block action, finds the jump, J6C. Clean side swap route as well, 200 meters to your name, but still not going to catch up for the full IW just yet. Want to save a little bit for these mutual interactions. Oh, not able to confirm, but this is looking like a reset right now, except for the wake up mash from Deppy. Drop. Ooh. It's a mash if it works, a bar A if it doesn't, but still gets caught out with that dash block. Too. A, put the score 0-0, zero, zero, put the L on Deffy's name. We got a reset on our hands for Shin Grand Finals. Aegis fighting game, Aegis Esports. We are here, reset in Grand Finals. It looked like it was out. It looked like Salty had fought through losers so long for Nussie, but Salty saying, come here, you're in losers now. Let's scrap like men. Here we go. Salty versus Deffy. Reset. Going right into it. Yeah, final set of the evening for real, for real. Yeah, and uh, Deffy's still sticking on the Carmine here. Confident on the pick. Says, no, no, no. I'm good off the hide. I'm good off the lawn. I believe in the one turn, one chance. Yeah, I mean, has been showing up for it. Salty was looking kind of dejected. De de looking bad in that winner's side for the yep. most part. Man, I am doing well tonight. Salty doing well as well on top of all of this grid ready to cash out. Yeah, there we go. Tatsu into the CS. Just trying to get a ton of meter on your side. Oh, actually, I thought we were going to see EX Fireball there, but I feel like we've, we've enforced that so much that we can be a little greedy with the meter. And now with B Tatsu to close out the round, we got 200 going into round number two. Oh, the footsie overhead, and it made sense, you know? We saw Defiant dash blocking into it, trying to catch that forward momentum. Yeah, that was a kind of that was a crazy overhead coming out from the mid screen, but with the dash momentum, you knew it would be able to hit the J6C brought you back down to the ground so fast. Ooh, step kick doesn't find the mark. Both of them were expecting it to hit though. Excellent shield there, giving Defiant a amount of plus frame. Yeah, I thought you'd actually be able to punish off that, but I guess it just hit so low that Salty was able to recover in time. Send out the needle, Whoa. jump on over, tried to get the cross up, JC, but no, Salty, I guess, had micro walked forward just a bit to be right out of range. And Salty now at advantage after this reset. Yeah. This is, Dude. what is this now? This is four straight games for Salty? I think it is. I thought we saw, you know, 
it was down 1-2 for Salty and then hasn't lost a game since. Let's see if we can keep the momentum here. Game number two post reset. Oh yeah, thank you Uni UI. Yes, showing four wins above yeah. Salty's life oh, bar. Yeah. Showing the streak. <laughs> we are in it. Defiant though, trying to put the brakes on this hot streak, setting up the consistent Oki. Yeah, exactly. No streaking by the bridge. We got, you know, you got four wins. That's enough here. Now it's a little more back and forth. Defiant got put in the corner once again. You still got blood puddles available, but, you know, you're a corner pressure against Akatsuki, and you don't have 100 meters to your name. It's very scary. Super dangerous. Can spend infinite worth. Do we... Yeah, gonna get a little bit of meter regen with the chain shift pop beforehand, but keep it simple. Spend the bar, guarantee the round. Yeah, I think... You know, that's 200 meter that you're not going to get back, you know, particularly quickly. But I think Salty has really just been valuing, like, okay, let me seal out the round. It's fine if it feels like a big spend. I just want to make sure that Deki can't one-turn me. Exactly. And you're one hit away, but at the life total Salty was at there, one good hit from Deffy would have been enough. And speaking of a good hit... There we go, AB Ender once again, waited out for the 200. Yeah, I think we were looking for Veil off there. Another throw into Akatsuki's outstretched arms. We're 2-0 in Grand Finals, five games in a row. Can we put one more to seal it out for Salty? No, no, I, no I don't want to curse it. I'm not uh -huh. trying to curse it here. Uh-huh. But we're looking at a potential 6-0 for Salty here. Six straight. I don't know. And he finally, by the CEO, Taku Pool, can Deffy find the Shonen flashback to bring this momentum back into his favor. Training, all the brackets played, the experiences made in CLR. Yep. Remember your friends, remember your training, remember how to bake the veil off. There we go, lots of meter lost, lots of health loss as well for Salty. Set the bombs once again. Oh yeah, definitely between those rounds, Deffy had the flashback, remembered his friends. Yep. Ooh. Oh. Remember the shield? Man, that pinwheel looked so active, but just barely right before still able to find the throw. It's evil, bro. In there, Deffy all over it on the offensive now. But Salty going for these dangerous reversals, just trying to put a stop on Deffy's momentum. Yeah, now we're trying to dash block you out here at the mid screen. I think we saw the startup of the step kick, but damn, we just run up for the veil off. No, okay. Yeah, just spend it. This animation runs out the VO timer as well. Smart choice from Salty. Showing that good Akka backdash, creating the space and just going right into B Tatsu. Grid break. Uh, don't drop this. Okay. I got a little scared, you know, going for the fancy rounds there. I was like, Salty. Salty? You down the goat. The are right, working on fault. the six, six straight wins right now, Salty. Lots of to go for here. Blow here yes. the yes. <gasps> Swung the cycle. Okay. Right, parry success. Text over to the other side. Now you're back to the corner once again, Deppy. Yeah, really trying to fight for this grid, but still lost all you got off of the forward tech right off of this hit. Oh, cool. he seals out another. Very close here. Cycle, though. Four. Salty will go for the back dash 6C. Salty, it's working too hard. Your trip is too hot. They'll kill you. Going in and out the forward dash, the assault. Where is he going to end up? The BD throw to finish it off here. Six straight wins consecutively for Salty, taking it over Deffy in Grand Finals.